everyone, this is your girl Sugary Girl Candy 2012, and I'm here to bring you guys some gaming news. Or maybe this actually isn't like news, but well, maybe it is a little of news and just a little of my thoughts because I am beyond excited. Like, you guys would not even know. Okay, so if you read the title, you already pretty much know what this is about. <laughs> so, um, but that's the good lord. <laughs> Oh my god, like, I literally screamed, man, like, I screamed from the top of my lungs and I had to cover my mouth, because not only did, you know, they show all this, all these amazing things you can do in Fallout 4, but then it was also revealed that the game will be coming out November 10th of 2015, that's this year, so like, what the fuck? Oh my god, like words just just cannot explain how excited I am, man. Like you oh my god, I literally can't think and do nothing else right now. <laughs> I just literally game gas them all over the place. I'm so excited. Okay, so let's just start just get to talking about the things they showed. Hopefully I don't miss anything because it was just so freaking first of all, the special edition. What? I'm just praying and hoping that I can get one of them things in time. <laughs> Cause I know about time, like literally after they showed that, I'm sure like a million people was already uh, pre-ordering that thing. <laughs> and I don't usually like, you know, I'm not usually that interested in special edition. Like the last special edition I was like really interested in was the Saints Row one that came out. Uh, I think it was, it might, was it last? Huh. Was it last? Was it for the PS3 and the Xbox 360? I, th I believe it was for Saints Row 4 but that was the last special edition that I was actually excited for but this special edition that uh, uh, Bethesda put out oh my god I wouldn't mind spending a hundred dollars on this I ain't even gonna lie y'all <laughs> I've been waiting not even just me many fans many people have been waiting on the Fallout series I mean the Fallout 4 excuse me seven years for seven years freaking years like oh my god <laughs> Woo! I'm just so excited like okay let me just get to talking about some stuff man but I'm just so excited man oh my god like this this excitement is just indescribable okay so first um <clears throat> the fact that you actually start in modern times you know like in previous fallout games you started in in an already nuked town so you know obviously there wasn't a real way to actually know what the town was like you know before you know you immediately jumped into the nuke area and whatnot but when they showed it and they start showing the gameplay of it you know you actually start in a um non new town and then you know some shit go down and you gotta go to shelter and then you know they didn't want to really show too much of that because you know they don't want to you know didn't want to spoil it and I don't blame them <laughs> so yeah um you actually start in a modern time you get the um character customization actually starts with your parents so basically your parents and I believe they also said um um you know besides being able to customize your parents you know to determine how you're gonna look um that I believe they said um, it was a, 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 um, a variety of names I believe that um, was it the baby that can be used or called or something like that I, I'm sorry it's just so many things that I just <laughs> everything is just like ugh. okay so um, yeah um, you actually start the game out um, customizing your parents so um, you'll get a good idea of what your character look like I mean will look like you know in the future obviously and that's actually pretty damn cool and the way like they set it up is so damn awesome man it's just amazing Woo! and then um you know after they start showing the demo and stuff you know you know after when they got into the actual gameplay it was like what <laughs> you get to create guys you get to create your own fuck it's like literally a nuked sims <laughs> <laughs> you get to create your own freaking house like in the previous fallout games obviously you had you know you had safe places where you could store things and stuff but in fallout 4 you're gonna actually be able to build your own town build your own organization build your own traps set traps because you know the raiders raiders are all have always been a bitch they probably worse than 
have been worse than some of the damn animals and stuff I came into, you know, contact with on the previous Fallout games. But being able to build your own, like, traps and build your own town and to build your, actually build your own town to set your furniture where you want it. What? This game is going to suck my life away. <laughs> I, oh my god. You get to customize your weapons, like, to the maximum extent. Because, like, um... You can you can build weapons, you know, with certain you have to have certain um, pieces and stuff to build certain weapons in the previous Fallout games, but in this game you can actually customize it. Ah! You can actually customize it and do pretty much what you want with it. <laughs> then hold up, hold up, you get to customize your power armor, like what? Because you know, in the previous Fallout games, you can get power armor. Um, you can get other uh, power armors to obviously keep your power armor from crumbling. But in Fallout 4, you can actually customize it to your liking. Like, how fucking badass is that? Oh yeah, did I forget to mention that our characters can fucking talk now. They said the reason why, um, and this is with like, um, a lot of people, um, I mean, people, <laughs> developers. This is what a lot of developers do when you, you know, you know, like in Saints Row 2, how, I mean, in Saints Row 1, how you had a mute character, and then in Saints Row 2, you got a talking character. Well, they said, you know, it's all, um, you know, they didn't want to interfere with the schedule of, you know, the voice actors, and they wanted to find the right type of voice, you know, for the characters, and that can be extremely hard to do. So, you know, yeah, our characters are going to be able to talk. Ah! They said that um, each actor went through 13,000 dialogues, dialogue of of um of speech. So yeah, that's a fucking lot. 13,000. <laughs> oh my gosh, man! Like, uh, it's just like words cannot explain how excited I am for this. Like, I don't even know if you know the you know the big conference is happening today is going to even get me because like I'm just so excited and the fact that this game is dropping this fall like you know we all sitting here thinking it was going to be like maybe uh in you know 2016 early 2016 or something like that but nah we getting it this fall that's how many months away that's uh July August September October November man that's only five months away <laughs> I can't think I, I really can't think of I, I can't think of doing anything else because I'm just so excited for this game like you guys wouldn't believe it's just so much you can do oh my god and then like oh my god like Bethesda literally just took just on the first day on a Sunday they literally on their first conference ever of E3 they completely own this is their own you know they completely own they kill everything so far I again I just don't know what can like pull me in <laughs> because this copper is killed man like oh my god now maybe with sony showing uncharted yeah i'll be killed again <laughs> but oh crap man i'm just so excited um i'm hoping like you know after the big conferences do their conferences then maybe i mean because well 2k didn't really say well at least i don't know personally that um they were gonna be at the con. They were gonna be at E3 because I don't believe they were at E3 last year. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but you know I'm hoping they are so they can show some stuff because E3 is like one of the top places, man. Like the top, it's like the 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 Hollywood of video games. <laughs> it's the the red carpet of video games is what I call it. The Hollywood, the red carpet, because that's where everything big is basically. I mean, there's other little comp other conferences and stuff like in uh, August and stuff like that but E3 is just where it is at <laughs> so it's gonna be amazing um Microsoft are supposed to be having theirs early this morning um okay I just hear some stuff and I'm about to go address it in a few minutes um yeah um what was I just saying oh god okay um damn I literally just forgot what I was talking about oh uh oh um Microsoft are gonna be having theirs their conference early I don't know why they well 
Maybe because they got to kind of squeeze everybody in conference. Microsoft has their conference so damn early. And it's around the time where people are so damn busy. And I believe Microsoft are actually showing theirs on TV. On, uh, I believe it's the Spike, Spike channel. With only, I believe, a few channels. Um streaming it <laughs> now but them channels weren't streaming it Microsoft would just be like the only ones still doing showing their E3 on TV <laughs> see this is why I miss G4 TV because with G4 TV they used to show you know everything you didn't have to worry about switching from here to there to there and you know just to see all these conferences and it's like damn like G4 you could see everything in one spot and today's a today's uh, age you gotta like catch it from you know on Twitch or YouTube or on GameSpot or whatever it's like damn like you know what's the best stream who like who's you know um, doing the best E3 and blah 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 so yeah um, I'm sorry if I messed up a few words y'all I'm just so excited like you guys wouldn't believe I've been waiting not just me but plenty of fans plenty of people have been waiting on the announcement of Fallout 4 since forever and there's just been plenty of speculations there's just been like minor information leaks like you wouldn't believe man and basically everything that was being put out um, a lot of us wanted to believe because we were just so damn excited like you know we just wanted some type of information on this game and when they when they sh first ooh, when they showed that first trailer it was done son <laughs> It was done when they showed that first trailer. It was just like, and if you go on their channel now, they're probably up to like 20 million views right now on that one trailer. It literally exploded the internet. <laughs> Might be bigger than GTA. <laughs> um, I can say right now, nothing has anything on Fallout right now because, oh my God, like the customization, the the story, I can tell it's already going to be pretty good. The, you know the before the explosion and then the after and then how it stars and then I'm seeing a lot of returning things and then I believe they called the dog dog meat so we get to see dog meat but see dog meat when I had dog meat in Fallout 3 actually I don't know if dog meat is a he or she okay I don't know but my dog meat got killed by a freaking death claw and um I actually ended up inherited dog meat I'm assume I'm gonna assume dog meat was a female because when dog when dog me got his head cut off by the death claw i was so mad y'all <laughs> when he got his head cut off by death claw um i ended up getting his baby her baby his baby i don't know what to call call the dog but just in general i'm just gonna call it a he but yeah i ended up getting his baby in fallout 3 i was so mad when it killed my dog yeah <laughs> um so oh my gosh man uh it's just so much like I mean, I, I came in. I came into this conference just like you know, you know, looking at this conference, thinking they were just gonna show a few things. They ended up showing. Oh my gosh! I just don't. I just. I just literally have a had a game gasm right there because they wouldn't stop saying stuff and just wouldn't stop coming out with stuff. And I'm just like, please stop! I don't know how much I can take it. Is. <laughs> Oh my gosh, man, as a gamer, you know, I'm a gamer, man, I'm excited, you know, as a gamer, I'm just like, oh, as a, whew. <laughs> I've been waiting for this game for years, man, just years, just waiting to hear some information, and we finally got some information, and we got trailers, we got gameplay, we got to see a bit of the character customization, a bit of the story, and just like, ah, and on top of which, but just completely top this Sunday whip off. It's coming out this freaking fall. So that means we ain't got to wait a year to get it. All we have to do is wait five months. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. I'm just fangirling right now, y'all. Y'all like y'all wouldn't believe. Let me see where this is at. Because I think I just spent like a majority of the time just fangirling. <laughs> but um, that's it. Um, If you guys personally watched. If I missed anything, I'll definitely put it in the scripture somewhere. Or put it in the annotation. Or in a comment or whatever. Um, But if you guys watch E3. um, Watch Bethesda's E3. Excuse me. Because official E3 starts tomorrow. But if you watch Bethesda's E3, let me know what y'all personally thought of it. Leave y'all thoughts down below. Um, 
yeah and the question of the day will be at the end of the video so yeah you guys can answer it and all that other goodness and I'm going to end it right here so this video doesn't get too long with me fangirling all over the place <laughs> but um thank you for watching commenting and subscribing if you did and uh, liking or disliking and uh, I'll see you guys later and I will definitely be doing um I will be doing a week's uh, coverage of my thoughts on E3 um so yeah stay tuned to that and um it's gonna be a lot more to come and um i am so freaking excited thank you guys Deuce.